So today I bring you one of the most broken glitches in the game. Unlimited skill tree points. Yes you heard that right, my skill trees are maxed out and I still have points to spare. Like what? How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, amazing prices and incredible weekly deals, check out G2A, links within the video description. So if I'm honest, in my opinion this takes away from the game and how it's meant to be played, but I know there are a lot of you guys out there that love this kind of thing, love modded weapons and love glitches. I learned this the hard way ages ago when I uploaded a video on a modded weapon and many of you agreed with me that although they can ruin the game for many, some people absolutely love them and they feel they make the game even more exciting and I kinda get that, I mean it's a PvE game, you ain't hurting nobody in reality playing a game the way you want, using modded weapons or not, that's completely up to you. And I won't even lie to you guys, I have pals who also love modded weapons and such. Now this to me though, I'm only showing you how to do it, I myself won't be using this glitch to help me progress within the future of the game. Now credit to this must go to Tenopal 6 and Spread Sickness who showed me how this is done. Now Spread Sickness runs a great discord server based on Borderlands, which if you want to check out you will find links within the video description, I mean if you have problems doing this glitch, go there for help. So how this is done is literally quite simple in theory, but achieving it can be quite difficult. And that's because it requires a ton of lag. And yes by the way this works on all platforms. Now the lag required for this is that kind of lag you get when there's just too much loot in that small space. That kind of major lag. And even with this it's still quite difficult to achieve because it's best to be done on Sanctuary. I went into a friend's lobby and due to him being on the other side of the planet the lag was kind of already standard, but with him inside of his inventory spamming those bumpers the lag was just perfect. So get yourself into a laggy lobby, and I mean it has to be serious lag, maybe spam up the place with legendaries too and it might help you. Then what you need to do is respec, once you have go into your menu and across to your skill trees. Here it's simple to test if the lag is working, spam points into any skills, if you notice your points are actually being used then it isn't working so respec again. For me to create even extra lag I was quickly pressing my bumpers, upon doing this I did notice when spamming those points my actual points were not going down. Now if this works and you are spamming and those points are not going down, just keep spamming until it doesn't allow you to spam anymore. At first I believe it will limit you to 58 points you can spend. So if you are spamming and you still have points there to spare, it's because you have spent the 58 you already have and the game is playing catch up. This is the important part, you need to quit out the game while you still have those points showing they are there for you to spend. If the game does catch up, it will deduct all the points and it will be too late for you. So what I did was, to create extra lag, the second time of me doing this, the first time you'll see in a second, what I did was to create extra lag, to make sure it didn't catch me up was quickly spam bumpers and then quit out the game. Loading back into my own sanctuary I had the points there to spend, but the ones I'd already spent still registered as being spent. Now when you respec, it takes away the points you spent and adds them to that total number you have. Now when I first did this, you can see this on screen now, I was spamming them points into Zane's sentinel skill tree and noticed it froze at 48, so I spent 34 quickly then quit out. Upon going back to my own sanctuary I respect and it added those 34 points onto the 48 it froze at, giving me a total of 82. Now as long as there is lag you can do this for as much as you like giving yourself unlimited points to spend. I ended up after literally 2 tries of this getting 150 points, which is more than enough to fill all 3 trees. What I will state is though, and it's very important to note, once you achieve more than the standard level 60-58 points, there is no going back from what I know. Yeah you don't have to use more than 58 points if you don't want to, but it will always state you have more there to be spent, hence why I did this on an alt character. So yeah guys, this is how you get yourself unlimited skill tree points, and well, if it's your kind of thing, enjoy it while you can. Again it's difficult to achieve as 
generating the lag required is quite hard. I tried in another friend's lobby who wasn't on the other side of the world, actually it was about 60 miles from me, but we couldn't generate enough lag no matter what we did. It was only when I joined a friend's lobby across the pond that it would work. But yeah, it is quite simple when you get it down. Join someone's laggy lobby, respec, go into your inventory, go across to that skill tree page, probably spam a couple of bumpers before you do so to generate even more lag and just spam points into those skills. If that number is frozen and you're still spending, it is working. Just remember you need to quit out before the game catches up and deducts the points you've already spent. If you do this right, when you get back onto the game, when you load it back up and load into Sanctuary, you'll have the skills you spent the points in, but you'll also have that number of points the game throws at. So when you respec, it will take away the points you've spent, but also add them to the total it throws at. So it is quite simple in theory, but like I said, generating enough lag is a difficult part. But if you can do that, enjoy it while you can guys. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.